students, it's me again, Ma'am MJ, and welcome to Math 7 class. Our topic for today is about linear measure. So before that, let's define what is linear measure. It indicates measurements of distances, length, or elevations. How important is it to discuss linear measure? Is it because it is applicable in our daily lives? by measuring our height, our hair, our long travel, and so on. Of course, in measuring length, we use different units of measurements. But what is unit of measurements? Unit of measurements are agreed upon standards or system for measuring quantities such as length, area, volume, mass, and time. Now, here's a table of units of linear measure in the metric system. So, in 1 millimeter, we have 0 0.001 meter. Or in 1 meter, we have 100 millimeter. And in 1 centimeter, we have 0 0.01 meter. So, in 1 decimeter, we have 0 0.1 meter. Or 10 decimeter in 1 meter. So in one decameter we have we have 10 meters in one hectometer we have 100 meters in one kilometer we have 1000 meters and one areameters we have 10000 meters and here's another table showing units of linear measure in the english system in one mil we have 0 0.001 inch in 1 inch, we have 1,000 mil. In 1 foot, we have 12 inches. In 1 yard, we have 3 feet. In 1 rod, or pole, or perch, we have 5.5 yards, or 16.5 feet. In 1 mile, we have 5,280 feet. In 1 furlong, we have 40 rods. In 1 mile, is equal to eight furlongs and in one league we have three miles remember these rules in linear measurements when we convert a larger unit to a smaller unit we multiply by the conversion factor and when we convert a smaller unit to a larger unit we divide by the conversion factor Remember grade 7 that those units are very important in conversion. You must familiarize or memorize those units for you to easily convert each given. Now let's try those uh, conversions in this example. So example number 1, convert 29.75 kilometers to meters. First identify what unit is smaller than the other. Then find how many small units is in the bigger unit. Since meters is smaller than kilometer, so bigger to smaller, we multiply. So how many meters in one kilometer? So we have one kilometer is equal to 1,000 meter according to the table of units in metric system. Now, copy the given, which is 29.75 kilometers, multiplied by 1,000 meter over 1 kilometer. Always put the same unit as the denominator. Next is cancel kilometer. So, our answer is 29,750 meters. Again, 29.75 multiplied by 1,000 divided by 1 is equal to 29,750 meters. Next example, convert 6.5 meter to centimeters. Again, first identify what unit is smaller than the other. Then find how many smaller units is in the bigger unit. Since centimeter is smaller than meter, it is bigger to smaller. So, we multiply. How many centimeter is in 1 meter? So, we have 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeter. 
Then, now copy the given 6.5 meter times 100 centimeter over 1 meter. Cancel the unit's meter. Then, simply multiply and divide. So, 6.5 times 100 over 1 or divided by 1 is equal to 650 centimeter. Next example, convert 99.3 meter to kilometers. Since M is smaller than kilometer, it is now smaller to bigger. So, we'll divide. How many meters is in 1 kilometer? So we have 1 kilometer is equal to 1,000 meters. Copy the given 99.3 meter times 1 kilometer divided by 1,000 meter. So cancel meter. So our final answer is 0 0.0993 kilometers. Next example, so number 4, convert 12 yards to feet. Again, foot or feet is smaller than yards. It is also smaller to bigger. So we'll divide. How many feet is in one yard? So we have one yard is equal to three feet. Now copy the given, which is 12 yards, multiplied by three feet over one yard. Now cancel yards. So we have 12 times 3 divided by 1 is equal to 36 feet. Next example, number 5, convert 3 miles to yards. As you can see, we are looking for the conversion of miles to yards. But in the given table of unit system, we don't have the conversion directly miles to yards or vice versa. So we are going to use yards to feet and feet to miles. So how many feet are in miles? So 1 mile is equal to 5,280 feet. So first let's convert 3 miles to feet. So 1 yard is equal to 3 feet. Copy 3 miles multiplied by 5,280 feet divided by 1 mile times 1 yard divided by feet. Cancel miles and cancel feet. Now 3 times 5,280 divided by 1 times 1 divided by 3 is equal to 5,280 yards. Now here's the most commonly used units of linear measure in the English system and their equivalent values in the metric system. So, conversion from English system to metric system. One inch is equivalent to 54 centimeter. One foot is equivalent to 0 0.3048 meter. One yard is equivalent to 0 0.9144 meter. And one mile is equivalent to 1.6093 Kilometer. So here's an example. Convert 29.75 kilometers to miles. So since 1,000.6093 kilometers is equal to 1 miles, let's compute. Copy the given, which is 29.75 kilometers, times 1 mile over or divided by 1.6093 kilometers. Cancel again kilometers since mile is the unknown. So our final answer is 18.49 miles. So that's our topic all about. I hope that you learned a lot today and I am praying that you're all in a good health. Thank you and see you next video.